Hey guys, it's Curious Hobbyist. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to show you a compilation of some experiments that I've done before publishing a single video to my YouTube channel, starting in late 2015. All of these are from my photos library. For the first experiment, I arranged 10 matches inside of an apple. Then I lit the first one, and this is what happened. After it was done burning, you can see this line that formed when the matches were burned part of the way down. Interesting. Next, I tried lighting a lollipop stick in the same way. I also lit it from underneath so that the flame would gain some height as it climbs up. As you can see, that definitely worked. For this next one, I took a time lapse of a lemon that I wrapped three tight rubber bands around. It was about one to two hours or so, I think. Eventually, all the pressure from the rubber bands split the lemon in half. Next, I filled the Doritos chips bag with water and twisted and sealed the top with. Well, I can't remember now. Then I threw it at the wall outside and filmed it in 120 frames slow motion. As you can see, it exploded with some pretty astoundingly gorgeous looking results. Next, I filled a balloon with water and filmed it in slow motion. Next, I put baking soda, citric acid, and water into an empty Odoal bottle and shook it. But I may have took it for a bit too long, because just when I put it down, it exploded violently, slipped out of my hand, and hit the tramp pole, shaking the camera. So if I do this again, I think I should probably run away quicker. Also, if we zoom in, we can see shadows of something flying. Probably a silverware knife. And maybe something else as well. So that's what made that chiming noise. To say the least, I wasn't a YouTuber yet at the time on the bright side. Next, we got a giant jawbreaker from the candy specialty store It Sugar. You can find more about the chain at itsugar.com. I put it in a jar of hot water to dissolve it and time lapsed it. The time lapse was interesting, but when I fished it out of the jar, I saw that it turned into this pinecone shaped pearl like gem thing. Next, I filled another balloon with water, aligned the center of my video frame with the center of this outdoor rug, and started filming and threw the water balloon there. As you can see, the video was astoundingly gorgeous. Next, I made this paper flower and tried burning it on camera. I also made another larger paper flower and burned that. Next, we had some cotton candy, and I decided to drop some into some water and film it in slow motion. I also decided to do the same thing with hot water from our Instant 190 tap. I don't know if you can notice this, but it dissolved quite a bit quicker in the Instant 190. Next, I taped a paper fuse that I made to a balloon, taped the balloon to a pole, and lit it. But then, when a speck of ash fell onto the balloon, <laughs> 
Next, I made this candelabra-like wax tower by laying down some candle wick and drawing over it with paraffin on wax paper using a dropper. I also created a circle of wax to get the candle to stand up. Then, I glued the two sheets of wax together by drawing another line of wax. Then, I burned all three candles. Well, that's about it for this video. Do you think any of these were interesting? Because I'd like to hear it. If you want, let me know which one you found most interesting in the comments. And now I'm inspired to do more experiments based on the ones you just saw. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If so, feel free to like it, share, and subscribe for more videos. As always, thanks for watching.